Hi, how's it going? This is Resident of Collinwood for YouTube. Resident <laughs> under slash of under slash Collinwood for bit shoot if the video uploads, that is. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine last night, Darnell Week, shout out to him, and we were talking about Michael versus Jason versus Freddy, and he said, do you think there's any way to do it? And, you know, when I was thinking about that at that moment, I'm thinking, man, there's no way. I hate my brain for various reasons. And if you're friends with me, you know exactly why I hate my brain. I want my brain, when, when I die, I want my brain fucking hooked to, like, electric chalk. That's all I'm going to say. Um, because I thought of a way... <laughs> for to bring all three Michael versus Jason versus Freddy together. Now, who would be your hero was one of the concerns I had because to me, through all three franchises to come together, to me, Tommy and Kara would have to be the ones who, who found out about Jason and Freddy. And that would be the thing. This story would have to take place in Haddonfield, no matter what. Now, is there a way to bring Michael, Jason, and Freddy together without using the concept from Freddy versus Jason where Freddy enters Jason's dream? Sure. <laughs> God, I'm going to kick myself hard for this one. Um, there would be this guy, and he would be a escape mental patient. Now, you might say, well, that sounds like Halloween. A bit. Here's why I'm going to change this. This guy escapes from a, a mental hospital. And he steals a car, and he he steals a newspaper, and it's approaching on Halloween. And you see that he's smoking a cigarette that he cigarettes that he stole, and he's shaking. And out of his room that he escaped from you see newspaper clippings of the Elm Street murders and the Friday, the Camp Crystal Lake murders. This would be somebody who would have survived all three serial killers. And yes, that is, again, I'm pleading the far-fetchedness. <laughs> God, why me? Um, but... So this person, some way, somehow survived all three of them. And they escaped the mental hospital. They have the old newspaper clippings. They decide to go first to Camp Crystal Lake to get Jason to follow them to Haddonfield. And you might say, what about Freddy? Well, they're going to pull Freddy out of the dream, the dream world. They're going to go to sleep and pull Freddy out in Haddonfield on Halloween night. And therefore, you would now have all three killers together. Now, who would survive this monstrosity? I got to admit, here's where... And... I'll say this, because me and Darnell were talking about this last night. As good as, again, this per, if you're going to build somebody up, they survived all three killers, one, one each. Then there's no way in hell they can walk out ever again. <laughs> that would be the problem. <laughs> so, I do think there would be a problem with that, that... Surviving all three killers would be very, very, very far-fetched. You know what I mean? Not the one guy, not creating one person who survived all three of them. 
but a whole town surviving all three of them because again three different killers and again creating one person to survive all three of them again that person is going to die you have to kill that person off who 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 kills them <laughs> <laughs> all three of them at the same time and it would be freddie would be like well look who it is <laughs> whoever the whatever the character's name you want to come up with um <laughs> i don't have a character name in mind so terrell sampson there see see it just fucking hit me but <laughs> and anybody with that name I mean, no offense. <laughs> right? But I, I, I'm not, you know, but <laughs> the thing of it is, what this person, would, the reason they think this is a good idea to bring the three killers together, he feels they'll just kill each other off. And you might say, He's endangering other people's lives. Well, here's the thing. He's an escaped mental patient. He's so mentally fucked up from surviving these three sons of bitches that he's willing to bring the three of them the fuck together. <laughs> Not just to kill each other, but hey, fuck it. If they kill the town, fuck it. They kill the town. <laughs> now, would anybody survive this? Again, the guy who did survive the three of them initially, Terrell Sampson, whose name I just completely made up out of fucking thin air, just like I did the human being. No, he would be dead. Probably halfway, probably halfway through the fucking, when he gets to Haddonfield, it hits nightfall. They're killing his ass. Plus they're killing the whole fucking town, but not before Terrell Sampson explains who the other two fucking killers are and what the fuck they're doing there and the fact that he brought them there and, well, the fucking town people turn against his ass for doing so, and rightfully they should. So, who's your hero in this movie? Here's a newsflash. There are no fucking heroes in this movie. What did I just say? Everybody's getting it. Everybody's dying. Who goes over, you ask? Well, my friends, here's the simple answer for you. Freddy would die this time. For, so Michael and Jason, I think, would just kill Freddy in between the two of them. And as far as Jason and Michael, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Michael Myers, so my preference would be for Michael Myers to go all the way over on this. But again, do I think it would be chaotic to bring the three of them together? Hell fucking yeah. I just made up an escape mental patient who knew about the fucking three of them. <laughs> Shout out to the Myers fan, Darnell Weeks. Um, <laughs> this is what it is. I was writing. <laughs> I'm sitting here starting to think about an escape metal patient who survived the three killers initially. And he's so fucked up from the experience. He decides to bring the three of these motherfuckers together in the town of Haddonfield on Halloween night. There's something fucking wrong with my head. I'm telling you. There really is. Uh, <laughs> this is the shit I think about when, I, when I'm just writing another story. And no, no, I am not writing this. I want to make this crystal clear for people thinking, I bet Jewel's going to write this story. No, Jewel is not going to write this story, okay? <laughs> I am not writing this story because, number one, it would be so chaotic to write it. Number two, you'd have to kill the whole town to do it. Number three, I'm just not doing it. This <laughs> is just scene number one and two. Again, it was coming up with how to bring the three of them together. That would be one way because... People might say, well, just do how Freddy versus Jason did it and have Freddy pose as Jason's mother. Again, you don't want to copy the same exact proceeding as a movie that's already did it. It would just feel like a repeat of that film. So that's why I came up with the, the mental patient who survived all three of them. But he's so messed up from surviving these three killers 
And who the fuck wouldn't be? I mean, look at Lori Stroach. She was fucked up from surviving Michael Myers 20 years ago, let alone 40 years ago. See Lori Strode as an example. Now see Tommy Jarvis as an example <laughs> for Friday the 13th. And if you want an example for Nightmare on Elm Street, my friends, look no further than Nancy herself. Uh, <laughs> so, again... Surviving all three, would it be far-fetched for one person? They would have to be extremely lucky, lucky no matter who they were. Um, could it be done? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? Anything can be done once you put your mind to it. Again, my only problem with this is... The problem I had last... A big problem I had last night is... That the town itself... No one is surviving. Once you kill the person who survived all three of them, the rest of the town's going with him. Because there's no way in hell all, the whole town is surviving all three killers, even if you do kill one off. And most likely the odd man out would be Freddy. Um, so that's my insight to all this. Um, let me know what you think. Yes, it's crazy. Yes, the idea itself is, is crazy. It's insanity. Um, so, God bless, have a good day, and I'll see you later.